Whenever I ride for a long time, my wrist really starts to hurt. And uh, I'll tell you that story in one second. I had surgery on my wrist because I broke it. it trying to ride a horse bareback so it's around three in the morning i'm drunk and i'm about to jump on this horse bareback jimmy boosts me up on the horse and at first is listening to me so i pulled left on its mane because i grabbed it by the mane like this if i pulled left on the mane it went left if i pulled right it went right so i walked it over to the fence where all my buddies were standing that said that I couldn't ride this horse and then the horse just stopped and wouldn't walk and they were all ripping on me like oh ha, 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 I told you you can't ride I told you you wouldn't be able to ride that horse so what do I do I got that horse to move so <laughs> I healed the horse hard healed it and took off full speed towards the fence. And I got scared that it was going to send me flying through the air into that fence. So I tried to fall off the side of the horse. And when I fell off the side of the horse, the horse bucked. So I'm, I'm leaning to the right and I'm trying, I cross my arms and I tried to fall onto my back. And then it bucks me into the air. So then... I go flying through the air, half a flip, come down, upside down on my head. I landed on my wrists first, and I smacked my head hard. Like, really, really, really hard. I was all dizzy when I got up, and then my buddy Jambo, he goes, Hurry up and come boost me on this other horse, this other horse that he had been petting. And <laughs> so I run over to Jimmy all dizzy and, sh and stuff, and... I boost Jimmy up on the horse. The second his butt touched that horse's back, that horse took off full speed at the fence. But Jimmy, you know, Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy held on to that horse. And he held on for dear life. And he was trying to ride it out. So when that horse got about eight feet from the fence, it did a 90 degree left hand turn and sent Jimmy flying parallel with the ground through the air. And he went back first into a post and not only did he go back first into that post and messed up his back, but he also got cut up by the barbed wire and shocked by the electric fence. So because of that, I had to get a bone graft done on my left wrist right there. So they cut a piece of bone out of my forearm and put it into my wrist and put a screw through there. But then the, uh, the bone graft actually failed so what they wanted to do then was go in, remove the bone, and fuse my wrist. And I pretty much told them, yeah, I'm not doing that. So now I have a dead bone in my wrist. So, you know, pulling the clutch in, if I ride a lot in one day or do a lot of wheelies, or just a lot of city driving, my wrist really, really, really starts to hurt. I have to be way smoother before I try to do one-handers. Way smoother, I'm just too wild. tell you about the time that I totaled my uh, 06 uh, GX 750 the old K6 750 so I just learned clutch ups right and uh, I was not covering my rear brake at all and we were on a group ride that I set up with me and my buddy we're gonna go up to my dad's cabin we're 
Alright, my dad's cabin stay there for the night, then go even farther up north. It's about five hours north of us where we live. Well, we're on a back row going 55. I'm wearing a Michael Red jersey, which is he was on the Bucks. And um, so I'm wearing a Milwaukee Bucks jersey, basketball jersey. I have jeans on, I have a helmet on, and a backpack. Well, my <laughs> me being the smart person that I am, I do a clutch up around 55 miles an hour and I don't cover the rear brake. And I went right backwards up and over. And I went tumbling down the road at around 60 miles an hour in a jersey. It hurts so bad. I'd have the doctors peel all my skin off. That was real fun. Oh, that looks like a nice lot. We'll go in there and check that out. So yeah, I had to have the doctors peel all my skin off. Uh, scrub all the gravel out. That was sweet. Oh man, something doesn't smell good. It's probably my motor. So they scrubbed all the gravel out. Uh, I guess I gotta... So what happened was, I looped it backwards. I went tumbling down the road. My two buddies were in front of me, Jeff and Adam. They saw my motorcycle blow up into a million pieces in their rear view mirrors. So they turned around, they thought I was dead. My bike literally was demolished. If you follow me on Instagram, you can go to my page. There's a picture of it. Just, I literally snapped the frame in half. The motor and rear tire was on the left side of the road and my forks and front tire was on the right side of the road. I dragged my motorcycle off the road but people saw it happen. So this lady's like, oh, you have to go. You've got to go to the hospital. We got to call 911. I'm like, no, it's okay, lady. Like, I already called my dad and he's going to come pick the bike up with a trailer. Like, I'm not taking an ambulance. She said, well, you still need to call the cops. I didn't want to get a ticket. So I was like, no, nah, that's okay. So she called the cops for me. Yeah, real nice of her. Really appreciate that one. Real concerned citizen. So the officer gets there and he's like, whoa, okay. It is a perfectly straight road. You can see miles down this road. And so he's like, so what happened here? I'm like, oh yeah, uh, a rabbit ran out in front of me and I panicked. He's like, what? Yeah, a rabbit ran out in front of me and I grabbed my front brake and I just crashed. And he looks at the uh, the motorcycle in pieces and he's like, huh, a rabbit, hey? I'm like, yup, that's a rabbit. And he's like, well, you know, I had a, I've had a 600. I had a, Seth, what did he say? He told me, he's like, you know, I've had a lot of, a lot of motorcycles in my day. I've had you know, 600 RR, 1000 RR. If you ask me, it looks like you crashed doing a wheelie. But if you say a rabbit came out in front of you, that's what I'll write down on my report. I was like, yep, officer, it was a rabbit. He's like, all right, whatever. So he put down that a rabbit ran out in front of me. So then, went to the hospital. Actually, I waited on the side of the road bleeding for about 40 minutes until my dad got there. Threw the bike up on the trailer. You took me to the hospital. They scrubbed me clean, all that stuff. And holy crap, that hurt. Not the scrubbing part, I didn't feel that. But showering, oh my God. I was still living at home at the time. I couldn't even shower. I could not even take a shower. That's how bad it was. This arm ripped up, this arm ripped up. They wanted to do a skin graft on my knee. One time it was snowing outside and it was like November and I'm like oh I'm gonna take my 600 F3 out on the road because I want to ride it right now and I went out from my apartment that I had at the time and I drove down the road to the gas station and then I was like whoa I'm gonna try rolling burnouts and you want to know what I did? 
crashed in front of everyone. That was stupid. I don't know why I thought, let's try a rolling burnout in the snow. I mean, it wasn't like sticking to the ground, but the ground was wet and the snow was flying in the air. Well, that's not good. That's flashing at me, so I should probably go get gas. Huh. Here's everything that I have to install. I have different sprockets. I got down one, down one in the front, up two in the back, 428 pitch, instead of this crappy 420 chain. Um, sub cage, hand bridge. Uh, what else? I don't know. Let's do some off road. I should get knobbies on this before I try to go doing anything stupid like this. throughout the whole day because I don't know what I'm doing um, so yeah I don't know man subscribe for weekly content thanks <laughs>